What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. We've got some really cool stuff happening in this episode. We're gonna start working on adjusting our elevations with some Teco Block retaining wall action. We'll show you everything as we go. Make sure you hit subscribe, 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 subscribe. plugging away here we've got most of this wall up and we've got a lot of the base installed so we're just gonna fine-tune some elevations here make sure our base is all set and then we're gonna set our screed rails and we can get our setting bed started I don't know what they're doing but I'm not doing it in this area we're just doing stepping stones there's gonna be a little bit of a gap between so we have two consistent values we have the stairs over there and we need to be a consistent height off of that and then we have this wall and we're going to be a consistent height off of this as well so instead of pulling out the zip level and everything like that we can just go around set our screed pipes by just putting something straight on top of the wall and then measuring down and we want to be two inches below that to the top of our screed bed so we're getting this ready then we'll just work this way and we'll go back towards the patio and uh, keep it rolling Ready for slabs. We're starting to get all of our pavers in and we started with this Antica border. This is where it transitions into the fire pit area and we're doing the Everest 250 by 500 in a herringbone pattern. We've got it started and that was one of the hardest parts, figuring out our layout. So let me just kind of go through my thinking behind this. We have some room to play with the overall dimension of it. So this is our fixed point. So we started here by just cutting this 45 on a full piece and it left us with a triangle and this piece. So we started here, worked this way and this way, and then we can just stop when we get to another full piece. So you can see we went all the way down here and we end with this full piece, which is just cut on a 45. And then we have basically half of this triangle. What we're gonna end up with is this small piece on that corner and then this corner will look exactly like that one and that also means that all of these cuts along this line are going to be the same over there and the ones over here are going to be the same on this side so when we get that drone picture it's going to look perfect and uh, that's the way i like to do it start from your fixed point have some flexibility on your ends and then you can make sure that you have a perfect layout otherwise you would start in the center and work out and then you're not gonna know what these end cuts are gonna be. They're probably gonna be irregular. They'll still be the same on all sides, but it's not gonna be just as clean as this, where it's a full piece, dies into this. This is gonna look dynamite, and pretty soon we'll get to the fire pit in the center. What are you doing? 
uh, screen out for our walkway here. We set this string line here all the way up to our end point where it's going to return to the driveway. And it's got about nine inches of pitch on it. So we set it out on top of paver height where you're standing and just measure down to our base three inches to get our height there. Get it all the way up. So we're just trying to find our center location for the fire pit and we're going to base everything off of that. So here we're roughly in the middle right here within, within I'd say an eighth yeah. of an inch probably. Once you, once you find the rough center, you're mm -hmm. actually going to change it to the yeah. center of the pattern. Yeah. Right. yeah. So we're going to do this with Roka wall and we can do it without any cuts at 48 by 48. So we also have a little bit of adjustment that we can make on that. So like if we go right here, so this way we're right on our pattern here and we're left with triangles and then full pieces that are cut into 45. And my mark, I'm at 25 inches off of our center point, which isn't bad. We can adjust the Roka a tiny bit, so we're gonna be able to make that work. And we'll go right here. come a little bit closer but here is the outside of our fire pit and you can see these are full pieces we're just taking this outside corner and going to 45 so everything works out really nicely it looks like it was planned out because it was and uh, this is gonna result in a beautiful drone shot and you know that's what I care about let's go Just going on here we got everything going in see we got more of the walkway done loving that antique it's it's a beauty but we're gonna finish up this fire pit and you can see we have the roca on the bottom and then we did a course of raffinado in grade nickel so kind of picks up our border then we're gonna cap it off with one more piece of roca and uh, it's gonna be sweet it's good what are you doing What are you doing? Cutting stuff. What are you cutting? The driveway. Driveway? Yeah. We're going into the front yard? Yeah. What? Get ready. Uh-oh. It's about to go down. Uh-oh. We're also putting an accent band next to the driveway, so uh, we'll get to that in a minute after we finish up this fire pit. Pit installed. Looks fire, dude. Looks so fire. With the Roka and the. Look at this just nice transition. Antica, blue 60 grade nickel, Everest 250 by 500 shell gray, Roka Riviera, Raffinado grade nickel, and another Roka Riviera.
patio for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another thing I really like. We've got those diagonal lines of the herringbone Everest. And we're picking that up over here with the decorators. Tundra, Sierra, Dark Slate. I think we're nailing it so far. It's a good one. It's a good one. Big one, but a good one. Big one, but a good one. Look at this. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. got this accent band next to the driveway done it looks really sweet we still need to compact it probably straighten it out a tiny bit more and then put our concrete edge restraint on the guys are working over here and all you want to do with this with an asphalt driveway you always want to make sure you cut a nice clean line on that because otherwise it kind of bows over and it's not usually very straight so we cut that so we have a nice crisp line to go off of. And then we're excavating outside of that. We'll get our base stone in, put our pavers and uh, our border and our edge restraint, and that's it. So we're gonna have this band go down the side and then wrap around this step and return to the edge of the foundation of the porch there. I think it's gonna look pretty sweet. What do you think? Nice little detail? Yeah, it's a nice little detail. Nice little detail. Yeah. Good to be working though, right? Always. There you go. week's vlog make sure you tune in next week we have a whole bunch of fun stuff happening we got cable rail going in and you're not going to want to miss that so stay tuned hit subscribe and until next time this is premier outdoor living <laughs>